In this video, we'll be using moving blankets to quickly and easily reduce echo and improve your sound. I'm Andrew Can, and if I can, you can too. If you want to learn more about video making tips you can do yourself, subscribe and ring that bell. When it comes to moving blankets, they can work similarly to acoustic foam panels in that they can help control the sound of a room. Moving blankets do not absorb 100% of the sound, so they do not soundproof a room, but they can help acoustically treat the room. Moving blankets are crafted with different dense materials, such as woven cotton, polyester, fiberglass, and mineral wool. The makeup of the blankets help prevent air, and more importantly, sound from passing through them. This means sound will be partially absorbed into the blankets, and the sound will not as easily reflect back into your microphone slash recording devices. Unlike acoustic foam panels or sound blankets, moving blankets lack an STC or sound transmission class rating. Moving blankets also don't have any sort of diffusion, which can help spread out the sound of the room to make the room sound larger. Diffusion gives the room a sense of size. However, to just cancel some unwanted echo or sound reflection, these moving blankets are perfect. All the voiceovers for this video will be done in a room treated with a moving blanket. Later in this video, I'll let you hear what it sounds like in a room with and without a moving blanket, so make sure to watch until the end. If you want to buy any of the items shown in this video, affiliate links will be linked in the description down below. Moving blankets are used in film sets or even Broadway studio recordings. That's because they're versatile and can be used in a multitude of different ways and are really cost effective. Moving blankets come in many sizes, weights, and colors. I recommend a heavier blanket to absorb more sounds. Since every space is different, be sure to find the size that fits your space in particular. For the moving blanket's color, I like one side to be black and one side to be white, so it can act as fill and negative fill. I'll show you three different ways to use the moving blankets. The first way is getting a moving blanket with grommets and then using command hooks to hook the blanket to the wall. Grommets are these metal rings that you can use to hook the blanket to the wall. I recommend these five pound command hooks if you're like me in a rental and cannot damage your walls. Follow the instructions on the back of the command hooks. These hooks allow the moving blanket to be hung up and taken down depending on your needs. This isn't something you can do as easily with acoustic foam panels. Here is an example of the beginning of this video without the moving blanket. I'm Andrew Can. And if I can, you can too. You can hear the sound bouncing off the walls in my room, and also can visually see where the blanket isn't reflecting the light back at me, so there are more shadows on my face. This is why having a dual-sided moving blanket can be so useful. The second way you can use these blankets are by using some spring clamps to clamp the blanket to some light stands. Then weigh down the stands with sandbags to support the weight of the blanket. I can use this moving blanket for not only sound treatment, but as a fill for my light to bounce back on me and help light me in this scene, while making my sound reflect less. I'll place this moving blanket on the opposite side of my key light and make sure it's out of frame. The moving blanket will improve both my audio and video quality. I actually recorded the introduction using this blanket. I now want to show you what moving blankets can do in a room with no sound treatment. I'm in my living room in a vlog style, using my Rode video mic, and you should be able to hear some echo off the wall, ceiling, and floor. I'm going to go ahead and place my camera on top of a tripod. And transition now. To have my moving blankets here too, you should hear that there is less echo and sound reflection. The third way to use moving blankets is on hard floors that reflect the sound from below you. This can help ensure that the sound doesn't reflect from the floor back into your microphone. I'll now let you hear some examples of what this room sounded like before it was treated with the moving blankets and after it was treated with the moving blankets. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. I also wanted to say, while moving and sound blankets are similar, they are not the same thing. Links to all of the sources for this video will be in the description down below. I use a combination of acoustic foam panels, moving, and sound blankets to help improve the audio for all of my talking head videos. Any combination of those three can really help improve the sound of your audio. If you'd like to learn more about how to get better audio, check out that playlist on screen and subscribe to this channel to overcome hurdles such as echoey audio. Remember, I'm Andrew Can, and if I can, you can too. Try that again.